Hello everybody. Uh, today is the 19th of October 2024 and today I want to ramble about some news. So we are back here in the forest, woods. Um, Alright, let's get started. Uh, Turns out that after a hundred days in office, Sir Keir Starmer is not that popular. Who would have thought it? In fact, uh, Novara Media did some, went through some date from polling by um, Mark Pax poll base and Ipsos, both polling agencies in the UK, I think. And, ooh, I don't remember this fence being knocked down here. Um, yeah, it's pretty trashed up here. Yep, yeah, and there's a lot more leaves on the ground. Um, yes, and uh, they found that uh, Keir Starmer is uh, they um, they took all of the, the polling from the month before uh, his 100th day in office and uh, found that uh, on average he was even less liked than... Um, he was the least liked since they'd begun uh, polling, getting polling readings on what the public thought of the Prime Minister 100 days into their um, Prime Ministeracy. It's probably not a term, but uh, I think you get the drift. Um, yep, and they found that he was, he was the least popular since they began conducting these uh, surveys, and that he was even less popular than Rishi Sunak. Uh, only another what four years and four hundred and so on four years four sorry four years and two hundred plus days to go and we can get a new prime minister and maybe they'll be better. I doubt it. I don't think there's there's uh any real improvement amongst any of the main parties in the country. Uh, all right, moving on. Um, the US has decided to send one of its FAD air defense systems to Israel. Uh, these are terminal high altitude area defense systems, anti-missile systems, um, they're sending one battery out of their seven, I think they have, seven, possibly eight. There could be eight. Um, and they have like one in South Korea, one in Hawaii. <coughs> um, and yes, Israel's getting one of these as well. It will be crewed by, I think it's from 90 to 100 US service personnel from the air defense Regiment, battalion, something like that. Um, in this is in hopes of defending it against a an Iranian uh, retaliation to whatever retaliation Israel will uh, try and deal out to Iran. Well, this part of the day. Um, this is, I think, the most advanced air defense system the US has. Uh, and given the talk of Iran spooling up a uh, nuclear weapon to launch Israel if its nuclear weapons, if its nuclear facilities are attacked, 
it could well be that this is really intended to I think it might be that it's intended to um, help Israel survive said attack by nuclear weapons um, but we will keep an eye on these things and see how they they change it really looks like a uh, forest has had a bad hair day There's twigs and branches everywhere leaves it really looks tatty compared to normal okay my next topic oh uh, if I can get down here I'm sure I can. There we are. I did not end up being covered in mud. Alright, um, yes. Zelensky has returned to Kiev after his uh, trip around Europe. Uh, he had originally been planning on... Uh, he had originally been going to go to the Ramstein meeting of uh, NATO leaders uh, where he was hoping to get uh, permission to use NATO long-range weapons to deep strike into Russia um, but the Pentagon well, um, that meeting was cancelled uh, Biden has said he wanted to uh, focus on uh, he wanted to focus on domestic politics after, particularly after the uh, Hurricane Helene oh, it's never dear I'm pretty sure that didn't come up on camera yep um, yeah, after the Hurricane Helene catastrophe and given that there is an election soon to happen, less than three weeks away. Uh, I think that is his focus right now. Uh, so he didn't get any more money, he didn't get any more weapons, and uh, during his trip to these European, Zelensky's trip to these European countries, he didn't get any um, uh, any extra agreements from uh, European countries, so he went home empty-handed. Then he gave his victory plan speech in which he said that either they need, either Ukraine gets immediate uh, membership in NATO with the hope of triggering an Article 5 which would get which could could get NATO troops involved in the conflict in Ukraine or they were to or Ukraine would have would need permission to uh, would need access to nuclear weapons to defend itself against Russia which would of course end up in a nuclear war um, <coughs> uh, apparently the western press uh, had kittens over this idea and he was he had to backtrack on this nuclear weapons uh, uh, threat the following day But they are definitely desperate in Ukraine right now. <coughs> they are 100% losing the war. I think it may still, I don't think we've reached the halfway mark yet. There's still plenty of Ukraine to go. And there's no signs that the government there is willing to let up to give in or even negotiate. So, uh, I imagine it'll be a couple more years. 
I do think that there will be more uh, the US will give more weapons and money to Ukraine after the presidential elections when it's no longer something on the American voters when the American voter it doesn't become something that will influence the American voters right before the election that makes sense yeah right. <sighs> right. Um. yep uh. oh and continuing on with the US election and attempts to sway the public oh. uh, the US is talking about placing arms embargo on Israel if in 30 days if it doesn't clean up its uh, atrocities if it doesn't stop its atrocities on the Palestinians and Lebanese in the next 30 days this deadline will of course arrive after the US election so I don't know I very very much doubt the US will Biden government or the Harris government or the Trump government will place an actual arms embargo on Israel. I think they're in it till the bitter end. Besides, they'll probably be involved in a war with Iran by the Israelis will have got them. Netanyahu will have got them involved in a war with Iran and their proxies there allies proxy is probably the wrong word but yeah allies by uh, by the end of the year so hmm interesting times tragic but maybe there is at last hope somewhere on the horizon for the people of Palestine although the journey There will still, to their future, will still be long and bloody and painful, and any more will probably die before we ever reach there. But sometimes, a long bloody journey until we get there. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share. Yeah, that's it. Um, uh, thank you for watching. Oh, and I left sources to the images I hopefully remember to stick into this video uh, down below or in a um, sources slide right at the end. Anyway. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.